My name is Pamela Naslima, the principal of Baraka Agriculture College, Molo, Nakuru County. Baraka Agriculture College is registered by the Kenya government as a Tibet institution. It started way back in 1974 as a farmer training center. At that time, it was responding to the needs of the farmers in the Rift Valley that were now occupying the initially white highlands and did not have uh, the technologies and the skills to be able to continue with the form of agriculture that had been started. Uh, the focus of the college is to build the capacities of small-scale farmers for them to be able to utilize their available resources in enhancing their livelihoods. From 1974, as a farmer training center, it has developed so far to a fully-fledged college, and it now offers diploma courses in sustainable agriculture for rural development, certificate course in sustainable agriculture for rural development, and beekeeping in uh, beekeeping also as a certificate course. It has a range of uh, short courses still offered to the farmers and to all those that are interested. We have uh, organic farming, sustainable agriculture, beekeeping, we have vegetable production, we have fruit production, we have dairy farming and poultry farming. Baraka Agriculture College is a, a well-known institution and its graduates are competent when it comes to farming and they are sought for all over in the country as uh, extension officers and as community development persons. Currently, the college has uh, uh, different departments. The first department is on training and education, where all the diploma, certificate, and short courses are undertaken. Then we have an arm on outreach. Under outreach, we work with vulnerable communities in uh, enabling them to access, uh, the, to access the resources, for example, water, uh, to enable them also have skills and capacities in uh, agriculture. Uh, like at the moment in community, uh, community engagement, we have uh, a project that is funded by Missy and Cara from Irish. And this project has supported communities to access water through boreholes. We have drilled two boreholes in the last one year. We have one borehole at Choronok Primary School in Resoy North Sub County, another borehole at Muchore Primary School, still in Kuresoi North Sub County, and we have also rehabilitated a spring known as Tuyo Bay Spring. The spring we, is soon to be handed over to the community because it is complete. So Baraka Agriculture College is an institution that cares for the community, it cares for the vulnerable, it cares for those disadvantaged in the community. Apart from that, Baraka Agriculture College also has a farm, and in the farm we have uh, the dairy animals, we also have uh, horticulture activities, we have a certified tree nursery where we produce uh, seedlings ranging from fruit trees uh, to indigenous trees, to exotic trees and flower seedlings. Now, short courses for Baraka Agriculture College uh, is meant to build the capacities of uh, the youth within the community because many youth have completed their fourth form, their class eight, and they idle around. So the college intends to build their capacities so that they can find uh, engagements, meaningful engagements that they can earn their own living. We also build the capacities of farmers. We allow farmers to come to the institution to learn and see what the institution does and therefore gain an idea that can, uh, that can help them in terms of uh, developing income generating activities for their own income as well as for food security. So every week on, Mon on Wednesdays and Fridays, those are the two days set aside for 
receiving the farmers and receiving uh, the high school and the university students that are interested in getting to know what Baraka does. Through the support from uh, financial partners, we are able to recruit some farmers and bring them for training free of charge. And after the training, we keep on following up with them. We keep on mentoring them so that at the end of the day, they are able to utilize whatever they have on their farm, within their environment, to generate sustainable livelihoods for themselves and for their children. Occur in um, specific areas that we have selected. For example, uh, in the next three years, we are working in Kamara uh, Ward and Lare Ward, both of them in Nakuru County. But we also have another financial partner that has supported Baraka, and therefore we will select the youths from Baringo County and Nakuru County and train them in the different farm enterprises of their own choice. Then from there, they'll be given a small capital for them to start up an income generating activity. We are intending to, to recruit 40 youth, both male and female. 100 youth in the last five years have been trained in Baraka Agriculture College. And most of them are in the communities doing different activities in the farm. Some of them are doing uh, vegetable production. Others are working on uh, potato production. Others are dealing with cereals. Yes. 18 dairy animals. These animals are able to feed the college population. But we have also uh, plans to start value addition of milk. And with value addition, we will engage with the farmers who can also produce milk and provide this milk to Baraka Kikacho College. So Baraka will be their market to, to sell that milk and then Baraka will value add, will add value to the milk through pasteurization and then uh, sell that milk to other areas. We already have the pasteurizer within the college, it's ready. We are just waiting to begin the work. We have the pasteurizer, we have the ATM machine, they are all ready and installed. We have um, five courses under beekeeping. We have introduction to beekeeping. We have uh, the management course in beekeeping. We have queen rearing and breeding. We have the artisan course where we make the hives, we make other tools and equipment that are used in honey production. And we also have processing and value addition. And under processing and value addition, we package honey, we train those interested in that area in honey processing, honey packaging, and even marketing. So we have our own small factory where we process this honey, we package it, and then we take it out to the supermarkets and to other interested persons.